this video, I will be teaching you guys how to macrame. We will be keeping it to the basics, but I will be going over everything you need to know to get started with macrame. Nicole here and welcome to Bochi Knot. In this video, I will be teaching you guys how to macrame. You might see a lot of macrame projects like wall hangings and plant hangers on social media that look very difficult and intimidating to make, but in reality, it's actually easier than you think. The best thing about macrame is that you don't need much to get started. You will need your hands and some cord and that's basically it. We are on Amazon Canada and the US, so if you are in need of quality cord, we do have a wide selection on Amazon. And so if you're interested, make sure you check us out on amazon.com or .ca slash And with that said, let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to go over is the basic supplies and materials you will need. You'll probably have this in your sewing kit at home, but you will need some measuring tape to measure the lengths of your cord. This is important for your first project and for future projects because if you measure your cord, you'll end up saving cord in the long run. The next tool you will need is a pair of scissors. You will need ones that are sharp enough to cut through cord, like a pair of fabric scissors. You want a pair of sharp scissors because they glide through cutting cord very easily. So if you're cutting many strands of cord like I am on a daily basis, a good pair of sharp scissors is a great thing to have. Now, if you don't have a pair of fabric scissors, you can use your basic kitchen scissors or a pair of craft scissors works well as well. These sleek black scissors here are my favorite. They are heavy duty and super sharp, which makes for great macrame scissors as well as household scissors as well. We have these available on the Bochi Knot shop and on Amazon. I can link that in the video description below. Each box of scissors comes with a measuring tape as well, which is all you need tools-wise to get started with macrame. The most important material you will need for macrame is of course macrame cord. Macrame cord comes in various types and sizes. The most basic macrame cord is made of cotton or recycled cotton materials. You may see jute rope, hemp rope, wax cords, pear cord, and other synthetic cords out there. Those are all used for different purposes. You can macrame with those too, but if you're looking for cord to make this new generation of modern macrame, you see a lot of... Most of that is made using cotton cords. Cotton cord is easy to use, soft on the hands, and I love the aesthetic of the finished piece with it. There's generally three basic types of macrame cord, single strand, which is one strand of cord made of tiny fibers twisted together, three ply, which is three groups of fibers twisted together into a three ply cord. Overall, three ply cord in comparison to single strand cord is sturdier, stronger, and has more texture. Braided is made of even smaller groups of fibers weaved together in a braid to create a single strand of cord. I would say braided cord is the sturdiest out of the three different types of cord I have here. You can use any of these three types to get started with macrame, but I personally prefer to use 4mm single strand, especially when starting out with macrame. Single strand is soft and comfortable on the hands and usually sturdy enough to make lots of knots even if you make a lot of mistakes and have to untie and retie again. 4mm is a good size to start with because it's not too thin and not too thick. It's the perfect size to make any basic macrame pattern. When starting out with macrame, you need a good workstation setup. Now this doesn't have to be complicated. You can use your basic household items to help set up your basic workstation. You'll need a stable surface on a table with some tape. I'll be showing you an example of how to set up a wall hanging by tying a strand of cord on both ends of the dowel
and then taping down the top loop end of the cord onto your table using tape. So once you have mounted the cord down at the top, you can now attach your vertical cords onto the dowel and start your wall hanging. You can do the same thing with your plant hangers or keychains and mount them down onto the table to start your macrame project. The fourth thing you will need to know is the basic macrame knots. There are three basic macrame knots out there, the lark's head knot, the square knot, and the double half hitch knot. The first one I'm going to go over quickly is the lark's head knot. This is known as the basic mounting knot. We're going to take a strand of cord folded in half, take the loop end down to the back, and then taking the cord ends through the loop to tighten. For the square knot, you will need two strands of cord attached onto the dowel because you need four vertical strands to be able to make a square knot. You'll take the outer left and right cords as the working cords to make a square knot. So you're going to crisscross in front and behind like so to tighten. Then you're going to bring it across and do the same thing but on the opposite sides. And this is one square knot. For the double half hitch knot, I'm going to show you how to make a diagonal one to the right using the far left cord as an anchor cord and the cord next to it as a working cord. We're going to angle the anchor cord to the direction we're trying to head to, which is downward diagonally to the right. And we're going to take the working cord. We're going to start off with a half hitch knot. So bring it, make a loop, and then bring it through to the left side and then do the same thing again underneath to complete this first diagonal double half inch knot. Now I'm going to show you the same thing on the right side making a diagonal double half inch knot to the left. And we are now complete with the double half hitch knot. Know that when you're starting out, mistakes will be made and you'll be doing a lot of unknotting and re-knotting. The sooner you accept this, the less likely you'll be frustrated with the untying. You can untie double half hitch knots faster by pulling the anchor cord out instead of untying it one by one. You're now ready to choose any macrame pattern that's beginner friendly to start knotting. As a beginner, you may find it easier to get a macrame kit since it'll include a pattern and all the necessary materials for the project. That's a great way to get started without having to choose cord. If you want to get the cord separately and make a pattern you find on YouTube or a downloadable pattern on Etsy, you can definitely do that as well. If after you've made a few macrame projects and you get hooked onto macrame just like I did several years back, that you may be interested in trying harder patterns or you might even be interested in designing your own projects. We offer tutorials on how to master intricate knotting techniques and also how to design your own macrame projects over on the Bochinot Macrame community on Patreon. If you're keen to advance quickly with minimal stress, this is the place to go. You can still learn at your own pace there. It's a platform with a lot of helpful macrame content and there's a community of knotters. 
that you can create macrame together with. If you guys are interested in checking it out, you can head on over to patreon.com slash for more details. I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful when it comes to getting started with macrame. It really is stress-free and fun. I really hope you guys thought the same. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family to show them how easy and fun it is to get started with macrame. If you guys are interested in more macrame content, make sure you click that subscribe button and then turn on your bell notifications. And also give me a follow on Instagram too at Bochina as I do release a lot of quick tips and tutorials there as well. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. We will be keeping it to the basics. Are you new to Macme and Hi! Oh look who visited us! Say hi! Oh, right. Oh. But? What's a but? But. A but? But. But. Mm.